still a chance to see Super Blood Blue Moon Wednesday despite cloudy forecast. Amateur astronomers and stargazers in southern Wisconsin might have to contend with cloudy skies during the total lunar eclipse early Wednesday. The forecast calls for clouds in Milwaukee just as the rare Super Blood Blue Moon passes directly behind the Earth. But Bob Bonadorer, director of the Milwaukee Public Museum's Daniel M. Soroff National Geographic Dome Theater and Planetarium said folks who want to see it shouldn't be dissuaded by the forecast. He encourages them to get up early and look up. Just in case clouds don't materialize or clear up when the eclipse starts at 5.48 a.m. Related, how to photograph, make the super blood blue moon total eclipse a family event. If skies are clear, Bonadorer will bring the museum's telescopes to the roof of the urban ecology center at Riverside Park, 1500 East Park Place, from 5.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. Wednesday for anyone who wants to see the blue moon total eclipse. Like US on Facebook, get the latest Journal Sentinel news in your feed. There's a reason the phrase, once in a blue moon, means something rare. But what about two blue moons happening in the same year? Is twice in a blue moon even a thing? While a blue moon, the second of two full moons occurring in the same month, happens roughly every two and a half years, the phenomenon of two blue moons in a calendar year appears only a handful of times a century. It's happening this year. Full moons on January 1st and 31 will be followed by full moons on March 1st and March 31st. The last time two blue moons happened in the same year was 1999. It's because every 19 years the sun and moon match up again, said Bonadorer. It's not going to turn blue. That's just an expression that came up in the 1940s by a writer in Sky and Telescope magazine and it kind of stuck, Bonadorer said. There's an added bonus for stargazers. Astronomy nerds and telescope aficionados, the blue moon on Wednesday will feature a total lunar eclipse. Plus, it will be a super moon, appearing about 7% bigger than normal. And because the heavenly orb will turn a reddish, orange color, which makes it look like the moon is rusting. A total lunar eclipse is often called a blood moon. In Bonadorer's monthly newsletter to Milwaukee Public Museum planetarium visitors and astronomy fans, he's calling Wednesday's event a super blue blood moon. The phenomenon of the moon turning into a blood orange is caused by red light bending as it passes through the Earth's atmosphere and reflecting on the moon's surface. Full moons materialize once every 29.5 days or so, which makes it unusual for two to fit in one month. New and full moons realign on or near the same dates once every 19 years. There are 235 full moons during the 228 months of the 19-year period, which means at least seven of those months will have two full moons. Each full moon features a name, such as Wolf Moon for January, Snow Moon for February and Harvest Moon for September. Blue Moon was used in years with 13 full moons. That led to an article in Sky and Telescope magazine in the 1940s that dubbed the second full moon in a month as a blue moon. For Wednesday's total eclipse of the blue moon, Viewers will be able to see it early in the morning though in Wisconsin it will be low in the western sky. In Milwaukee the eclipse will start at 5.48 a.m. And totality will begin at 6.51 a.m. and last until the moon sets at 7.06 a.m., said Bonadorer. The best viewing will be from a tall structure because the moon will be so low on the horizon.
but there's no need to move into the countryside away from light pollution. The best thing about this, with lunar eclipses it doesn't matter where you are because the moon is so bright and visible, Bonador said. HTTPS colon slash slash www.jsonline.com slash videos slash news slash 2018 slash 01 slash 30 slash super dash muntrilogy slash 1090108400 slash